Hey guys, Modern Country Mama here, and today is the promised Amazon haul. So, I've been kind of pushing this off for many reasons, but that doesn't matter anymore because we're doing it today. So, um, this, we'll start out with our lodge, my lodge purchase. This is a handle you specifically put it on your cast iron pan handle and you don't get burned and you don't have to keep using your hot pads or your towels over and over again just to make sure you don't burn yourself. These are the pan scrapers and I am so glad I have these because it's going to make cleanup so much faster and I won't have to do all of my dishes and then come back and do my cast iron separately I'll be able to get it all done at once and not have to clean for two three days <laughs> I'm kidding all right this I have been very very much looking forward to my gardening book specifically for Florida because there's about three separate climates and I am in the northern non-gulf region the gulf region can change things too i guess depending on who you talk to there might be four regions but um let me go to the front one of the reasons i like this book so much is that it gives you an introduction like every book does but then there's general horticultural tips i have zero skills so this is definitely going to help out and the way they lay this out is each chapter goes over specific trees or specific fruits vegetables all that chapter one is annuals chapter two is bulbs rhizomes tubers all that so i could plant from this chapter i could learn how to plant my uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and also if I felt like it, um, ginger or turmeric. In chapter four, deciduous and tropical fruits, citrus, I won't go through all of it, but just to give you an idea, chapter six even has, is about lawn care. And like I said, I like it because you get a thorough January through December time frame on how to plant, how to take care of, pruning if it's needed, when to harvest, all that good stuff. And you don't have to weed through, okay, this page is for herbs and then this very next page is for your pecan trees or whatever. Oh, I didn't see this page yet. Okay, this is a map of Florida and my hand shaking. Oh, I'm sorry. Different zones, 8 through 11. Obviously, I'm not down here. I've already told you all I'm up in the northern section. So, just let you get a gander at how weird the state is. And then, of course, your microclimates change everything. On top of it, this is why I've failed <laughs> in the past. There's so many things that you need to take into consideration that I just haven't. All right, here, January, bulbs. Give bulbs an early start in pots. Okay, and, oh, where was it? Every chapter, yeah. Every chapter they have a list of the different types what sections, what areas of Florida it would be best, when to plant, how deep, the spacing, the light, and all that good stuff. So I am incredibly excited about this book, as I stated, and on top of it, it's used. Can you believe that? Look how nice this is. I got this for $6 less than 
the new price, even though it's Prime and I'm a Prime member, I got this used for $11 and change. And there's no highlighting, there's no, okay, there's that little bend, but, you know, boo-hoo, so what? I saved a lot of money. <laughs> um, this, we'll do this little guy. My dram of sassafras flavor. Why in the world did Allie get sassafras flavor? I'll tell you. I come from a long line of Pennsylvania Dutch ladies and lads, and we love ourselves some apple butter. And like any cook, baker, what have you, after a while, you want to try something new. Well, in my local community, when I was growing up, we had literally two weekends in the fall where we where the adults would gather starting in the wee hours in the morning like four in the morning five four or so in the morning start making a fire and start cooking literally those massive copper kettles worth of apples and there would be five or six of them depending on the demand for the year and so there would be plain with sugar, there'd be plain without sugar, there'd be cinnamon, and there would also be sassafras. And sassafras was my absolute favorite. When I made apple butter in my crock pot last, was it last summer or last fall? Any, anyway, when I made it, it was very, very close to my grandmother's recipe. I got my grandmother's recipe and let me tell you what, the math on that was really interesting. It took a while to figure out a crock pot size versus those 16 gallons. <laughs> anyway, something was missing. And then weeks later, it hit me. There was no sassafras in there. My absolute favorite part. Everything else was on point except the sassafras. The only trick is going to be the fact that they put one of these in those massive kettles. So I'm literally going to have to do this a drop at a time so I do not over flavor my apple butter. P.S. I sent them out as gifts and everybody gobbled them down. They absolutely loved it. So there's that. Okay. One day I was scouring the internet as I always do and I believe it was Pinterest because that's the pin I had and I will link you somewhere either no matter what I'll put it in the description box I will link the blog review to these I started looking up fermentation there's the and in mason jars because as of right now I'm just researching how to do something on a small scale because I literally have no experience in this stuff so I came across the blog she did a review on a mason jar with the little pickle pipe, the traditional pickle pipes on top where they had the water reservoir, uh, one where it was just a cheesecloth covering, and these guys, and she rated these the best, and they're economical. The company they're from is Mason, they're made from is Mason Tops, if you'd like to check that out. And I got the kit on Amazon, surprise, this is an Amazon haul. I got the pipes that go on top of your lid that is used as your lid and I got the pickle pebbles. They are massive weights, let me dig that out, made specifically to go in your wide mouth mason jar. And you can check this out on your own, but this is what I'm going with instead of buying those massive crocs that I think the cheapest online I found was in the $200 range. And it again, it was like for sauerkraut it, and it was for a large number of people like, you know, what you do for New Year's, you, you make a celebration, it's good luck and all that stuff. Anyway, you can find that stuff out on your own. This I'm doing again for myself, my family. And I'm going to start out small with things like what you would normally pickle 
cucumbers. Uh, I do not want to do sauerkraut because my only memory of sauerkraut is the super vinegary, vinegary stuff you made on the stove just before you ate it and to this day I can't smell that and not get a little sick. <laughs> I, uh, you know, lech. I'll just leave it at that, lech. So, I'm going to try this out with pickles. I'm going to try this out with something called a pickled onion. That looks delicious, especially on burgers. And anyone knows when you're in the South, burger season goes all year round. <laughs> all right, on to the next item. Okay, this is a bit precarious, so I may just end up taking pictures. This is a four piece ceramic measuring set. I found it by accident while I was getting my other items. I possibly came up as a suggested. Ah, let me see if I can't do this. As you can see on the inside, there are lines letting you know the amount you have. The top, the cute little top here is a quarter cup, third, and then mason is half and the bottom is a full cup. Of course, when I placed my order with these guys, I found that there was a literal full kitchen set. Cookie, jar, a crock for your, your you know, your spatulas, your whisks and all that. This guy, spoon rest, I mean, just everything. And of course, I was incredibly upset because I'd already made my order. Well, my husband was super sweet and told me to go ahead and get the entire set. Well, I couldn't do that, but I did get some other items and I will show them to you now. This is the spoon rest. You know, maybe I found this at World Market. I think maybe I found this in the suggestions of looking at spoon rests of melted down ball jars. I know if you have an obsession with these canning jars like I do, especially the old pretty blue ones, then you have the same then you've seen the same picture I have. They literally melt down a mason jar, a ball jar, a cur jar and they, it's essentially looks like this, only of course it's clear because it's an actual glass melted down from actual glass. Now, <clears throat> I just ah, don't, I just couldn't help myself. Look. How adorable these little spoons are. Yes, I still have the tag on them because I'm not going to open it and start using it until we get in the new house. But tell me, that is not adorable. Freaking adorable. I don't care what you say. I think it's adorable. Sorry, I'm outside. There's bugs. Now, now I want you to know these things are just so darn cute that for a while I was seriously thinking of recoloring my kitchen, so to speak, you know, all the accessories you buy in aqua because all this stuff is freaking adorable and just my style. But I think I'm going to stick with cobalt blue because nobody else has it. Yes, I can find aqua and mass for just about everything, but I'm me, I'm unique, and I'm going to stick to cobalt. Now, if I happen to find these in cobalt, I'm just going to lose my, my everything. I'm just going to fall to pieces. Uh, for anyone out there who would like this, but in a different color, I did notice these on Amazon in a nice vibrant red and a like a butter... A light butter yellow if that's up your alley. Uh, I do not have any affiliate links. I do not have any discounts. Just advice to buy it on sale or get yourself a Prime membership. So 
I think this concludes my haul video. I did recently get another package from Amazon, but I believe I'm going to make that a tips video. And also, just to update you with the home situation, things are starting to move along, so you may see less and less videos. I know I've been putting a whole lot up lately compared to what I normally do, but it's possibly going to be slowing down again until we've settled in the house. So please don't be too disappointed if you only see one or two here and there. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.